I can't believe I was just set up like this, as if time has never changed one bit. This is too beautiful. This must have cost a lot of money to make. And everywhere you look, you just see carvings on the walls, mirrors, ceilings. Love their taste. Everything matches. Of course, gotta have piano. We found the wine cellar. This is the best wine cellar I've seen ever inside an abandoned mansion. Bro, what the heck? So we're just exploring an abandoned mansion. Look at this, wild horses. What is up today guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name is Steve Roan and I'm going Epic Adventures and today we're going to be exploring this feudal castle in France. Now this castle dates back all the way to the 16th century and was once owned by Louis XV who was the king of France in 1740. The castle has been remodeled many times and lived in by very noble families. But in this 19th century, it was built as the troubadour style that you see today. Inside, you will find unique gothic architecture that's rarely seen on the channel. And the crazy thing is everything is still left inside from the last family. Unfortunately, nothing is really known about its modern day history, but rumors say it was lived by a wealthy family and the father passed away in a tragic accident in the early 2000s. The wife and his kids eventually got inheritance money and moved out to a new home in a different country. The property is being now watched by his kids, but have neglected it for many years because they couldn't deal with the loss of their father. So that's really all I know so far. I think you guys will enjoy this video a lot and I cannot wait to give you guys on this tour. This was one of my favorite explorations in France and you're gonna see why as you keep watching until the very end of this video. It's truly a magical place and it felt like I was in a fairy tale. Before the adventure begins guys, I want you all to smash the like button and also leave a comment down below. Tell me where you guys are watching from. I would love to hear all about it. Enjoy and I'll see you all at the end. Guys, look at this. This is incredible. We just made it up to the mansion. Probably the best abandoned chateau I've explored in Europe so far. Let's head inside. All right, everyone. So we just made it inside. I just checked the attic, and there's really nothing much up there. But we're gonna start right here now on the second floor and work our way down. Put a bag right there. So yeah, this floor is where all the bedrooms are. There could be some downstairs, but I haven't seen any yet when I was on my way up here. Look at this, gosh. Dang. This room is absolutely beautiful. This must have been some sort of female bedroom, but it seems like two people were sleeping on here. There's two beds right there. Yeah, there's something on this one. What's this say? Oh, it must have been some sort of relic or something that was framed. Probably the cross. I can see Jesus right there. Now right here, I think this is a toilet for people who are disabled or maybe for babies. Yeah, I don't want to be touching that. But now it makes me believe that the person living in this room was probably ill or disabled and most likely an elderly person. believe how it's just set up like this as if time has never changed one bit I mean you still have the photos still where they belong here's a lady 
She looks young. Here's another lady. They look like two different people. And I forgot to show the pictures over here. This one has a lady and her and then her daughter. It's a beautiful photo. This must have been her kids too. We can assume right now that she had three kids. Two girls and one boy. I love their outfit. The kid looks like a sailor. Unbelievable. This is an entire curtain right here. Right on the wall and it matches the wallpaper. This window is just left open. What's down there? It's like the garden. Surprised there's not a lot of bugs in here. This is from 1930. It's like around World War One and World War Two. Wait a minute. Is that her? that we saw in the photos. I think that could have been her. Wow, this thing is so clean. I can't believe this magazine is from the 1930s and it's not dirty one bit. Who's this lady? She looks like that actress. I can't think of her name right now. The one that did Prince's Diaries. Anne Hathaway, I think. Let me know down in the comments if you think she looks like Anne Hathaway. The lovely desk. It's hiding the fireplace. At first I thought this was part of the desk. Oh, dang. Such a nice fireplace for a bedroom. Looks like there's a closet. Just has a giant desk inside it. Hmm, could use this ladder as an escape ladder if I have to. Look at that. You can see some of the clothes. Definitely looks like it was meant for like some older woman. Alright, let's go and check out the other bedrooms. What's this on the floor? Looks like it could have been a part of something, some sort of machine. Hmm. What do you guys think that is? I got a little bookshelf here. I'm not sure what these slides are. I think they're just to contain whatever. Look at that, there's like a little sink. That's convenient. But yeah, we're moving along to the other rooms. Pretty dark over here. Oh man, this room is not that clean as the last one. It's quite dirty. It's over here on the other side though. Looks like there's another bedroom connected to it. Jeez, if I wasn't paying attention, it kind of looked like someone's sleeping on the bed. I bet some squatters or homeless people have done that. Oh, like a little study room. It kind of feels like each bedroom has this studio feel as if people were renting out the rooms to live in rather than individual bedrooms. So you come to the main hall that has all the bedrooms on each side. All the way down is the bathroom and I think it was shared. So far the rooms haven't had their own individual bathrooms. Oh, it smells so bad in here. Oh, gosh. Where's that smell coming from? Smells like dog food. It is coming from here. This seems like it could have been an office. It's a 
big giant desk. I guess the kitchen could have been staying here as well. So many toys just laying around. Perhaps a dog would stay with them. There's so much dog food. Gosh, I think there's a beehive in there. It's buzzing like crazy. Holy crap, I can see so many dead bees on the ground. At first I thought that was dog food, but those are dead bees. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna step in there. It's loud, can you guys hear it? the volume up for you. I swear they're probably up on the ceiling. Alright, so here's the other side. Oh, well, I guess this part had a bathroom. There's the tub. And here's the closet. Is that like a prosthetic foot? Hmm, looks like these could be some male clothes here. But right there are all woman clothes. So far I haven't seen any male clothing. I just noticed a calendar. I think it's a calendar. I think I'm wrong. Oh yeah, it is. It's from 1997. That's the oldest date so far that I've seen. Here's the next bedroom. Dang, it's so dark. Wow, this room has a lot of photos though. I just have to stay away from that corner. Yeah, take a look at that. Some really old photos. I don't really want to be touching them. There's more photos. Dang, the family looks really wealthy. I mean, they have to be in such a big mansion like this. It's crazy to think their life here is now gone. Nice purse right there. I bet it's a luxury or a designer brand too. That's where the bathroom was for this room. Hey, there's some taxidermy right there. Looks like it could have been a fox. Look, there's a wedding photo. Looks like perfume around this corner. I think I see one right there. Yeah, all the clothes are just left in the closets. So far, they're all seem to be for a female. Oh my gosh, look at these baby shoes. There's so many of them. There's another box right there. Wow. And I can see another frame photo right here. That's a lovely portrait shot. Gosh. We're now walking and passing through this hallway into another bedroom. Wow, look at the wallpaper here. Love this blue color. And it matches the furniture. Wow, there's even a secret door back there. You can tell it's secret because it's just camouflage if you close it. For some reason, I can hear a bunch of flies. Right over here. I feel like there's something dead in there. Let's take a look. 
Hopefully it's not bees. Pretty sure it's just a fly. Oh no, that's a bee. Frick, there's a mess in here. Okay. Getting away from that. Seems like they had a baby here. Oh, is this? This might have been the kid. Yeah, that was him when he was a baby. Perhaps he used to be the one here in this cradle. So curious to see why they would have like a camouflage closet. I just found another portrait photo. Looks like there were so many females living in here. Oh, look at that. It's a collection of seashells. It's probably all the collections they found on the beach. Unless it came from here. They probably kept a lot of souvenirs in this box. For now, let's go over here. There's another photo from a wedding. The guy seems to be wearing like a, a soldier's uniform. Well, whatever was behind here must have been rare and perhaps it got stolen already. I think these are brushes to clean like shoes. Yeah, let's take a look at the photos right there on the bed. Looks like a soldier or a general. Most of the family was in the army or into politics. Jeez, how many kids did they have? Gosh. Well, this these three photos kind of look the same. Maybe it could have been the same girl. That one looks different. That's the last of it. I believe we're on the other end now. We've seen all the bedrooms. We're back down the hallway. We were just all the way down there, cutting across the rooms. But wait a minute. I don't think I went down to this room yet. Oh, what the heck? Where does this lead? Does this lead to more bedrooms? We'll have to check that one out too. Because we already did the attic. So I wonder where these steps lead. And this one looks like it's shared. And my gosh, the black mold is bad in this one. It's a toy gun. Okay, I say we head upstairs. Well, looks like I just met up with the gang, Sam and Jess. You guys liking the place so far? Yeah, oh, it's yeah. pretty cool, man. There's lots of interesting stuff laying around. Yeah, this is definitely one of the best on the trip, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice, man. Yeah. Yeah, check it out here. This is a chapel? What? <laughs> That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Unusual to have that upset, so. Mm. Right. Dang, it'd be very hot for them to pray up here. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, Feel the heat. Yeah, it's so it's hot. Crazy. It's crazy. It's cushion and everything. Really. It's nailed down and stuff. Mmm, right. Wow. Feels so peaceful in here, not gonna lie. I did not expect to be seeing that room here. Okay, now this seems more like an attic. There's too many things. There's a purse, some boots. Gosh, you can hardly walk in here. Wow, are those motorcycle helmets. I think it is. It's 
Nice, there's no bats. But that's so neat. There are bats. There's a lot of bats. <laughs> there's so many of them. I should have known. <laughs> All right, there's bats in here. But usually they're friendly. Like, I've never had a bat attack me at all. They're usually shy animals and won't harm you. Here's another room. Gosh. This is like a door, but there's like some painting on it. I saw a bat flying behind me. Usually they should be asleep right now. Must have woken them up. Take a look at this. Wow. These are huge pieces of artwork. Especially these ones, damn. There's a number on it, it says 619. That could be the price of how much it's worth. Gosh. sucks I think the sunlight kind of ruined the photo it looks so gray you can hardly see what it is let's continue down yeah same thing in this room Flapping his wings. Anyway. Oh wow, look. All the saddles are right there. Looks like there's more paintings in here. And a lot of furniture. Okay, we saw every room now. We just have to go up these steps. I just noticed there's holes on the door. Probably for like an animal or a cat that they had so they can just run around. Mm, I can feel a nice breeze up here. Feels unreal right now. Honestly, it feels magical being up here. There's something about attics like this where it just feels so mysterious. This entire window is open and there's a nice breeze coming in. Look at that. The pool must have been right there. Or could have just been a little tiny pond. I say it's time to go all the way down to the ground floor. Hmm. I'm not sure why they would put windows when it doesn't even have a view. Or light doesn't even go through it. See what I mean? Even this door has a hole. Or now coming to the main stairway and about to head downstairs. But before we do that, there are some things over here. It could be nice to look at this old record player. I'm glad to see the chandelier still here too. Most of the time they get stolen. There's 
another room over here that you can easily miss. There's a crib. I go in France, I see books, 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 and abandoned buildings. I'm getting too used to them now. Yeah, you had two twin beds. What could this be? Oh, some artwork. Looks like it. Hmm. I'm not sure what these could have been for for them. Oh, okay. I guess they were big fans of Michelangelo. I remember now, he was like a sculptor and an artist. They are probably big fans of him. Oh, more photos of the family. It's a good glimpse. With how their lifestyle was, they had horses. Where's the garden room? We haven't even been there yet. And these are photos from outside the mansion. They had a, such a huge yard. Damn, who would have thought? They probably would have never thought this place would be abandoned. Doesn't look anything like that anymore. Found an album right here in this corner. Gosh, this must have been their family album passed down from generation to generation. Look at that. It's probably like their family tree. This is so fascinating to see. And also quite sad. That an album like this is just left abandoned and forgotten. I mean, this must have been so precious to them. Like, wouldn't it be precious to you? Gosh. It feels all the way down. The room had its own bathroom, and I guess a kitchen too. Or not. Such a weird looking bathroom. Okay. Wow. Look at that, guys. Thank you so much for watching and making it to here. I think you guys will enjoy this a lot. This looks absolutely incredible. If you've been enjoying the video so far, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and also check out the photos on my Facebook and Instagram at Steve Ronan. I've been taking so many and I'm definitely gonna take a lot down here. All right, so just made it to the very first floor. And look at this, there's just too many things. Vases, boots, clothes, books, you name it. They're all still here. And it's just a long corridor. And look at these seats. They're like fit for a king. Must have been this guy. Chilling on, chilling and sitting on them. No way, the clothes. Right, we're finally seeing some men clothing here. Some pants, boots, shirts. But also women clothing too. I don't know where to go. Do I go down this way or do I go down that way? I think we should just work our way down from here since we're close to this part. Wow. Love this black color on the bookshelf. Wow, the plates and cups and utensils. 
just here in the cupboard. Here are some rooms. Let's continue going down here. I might even wrap around them like the second floor. Okay, so this is another stairway. But it's way better to take the main stairway. You get all the kid toys just laying around. If anything, this is probably where the maid would stay at her own bathroom, kitchen, and room. So here's the first room downstairs. It's so dark. They boarded the windows, can't even open them. What a shame. Because I'm gonna have to do some light painting. But dang, look at this, the bench. And I guess there must have been some sort of giant painting here at one point. Because I can see the frame, it's all broken. What kind of seat is this? It looks so cozy. This must have been set up by Urbexers. I think Sam and Jess set it up. Wow, this is probably the best fireplace I've seen in this mansion. And on this trip. And everywhere you look, you just see carvings on the walls, mirrors, ceilings. I definitely love their taste. Everything matches, like even the furniture. What's this? Some more photos. Looks like they're kids. They had a big family. This must have been the father. It's so hard to tell who these people in the photos could have been. There's just so many, so many people that would come to this mansion, but I assume they're all family. This room is just right in the middle of everything. I like the red color in here, and gosh, look. Of course, gotta have piano inside of a man mansion. This brand is from Paris. Can't really make out what it says. Gosh, this seat is so comfy. Looks like someone shut up this picture. Looks like it could have been from a BB gun. She looks like a queen though. All right, so this is the room next over. Oh, we got alcohol. There must be more. Yep. Knew it. <laughs> if you see one alcohol bottle, there's bound to be a lot of them somewhere close by. Some of them are even unopened. Do you guys recognize any drinks that you're familiar with? Let me know down in the comments which is the best drink here. Anyway, yeah, this must have been the dining room or a lounge room. Oh gosh, this is incredible. This is too beautiful. This must have cost a lot of money to make. Just look at those carvings. So much death in them. I wonder whose face this is carved in. It looks so real. It's very well done. Honestly, it's just perfect. I feel like we still have their TV. Hey, is that a gun? Oh, I think it's the BB gun. 
That's probably why that artwork in the red room had holes. Someone's probably playing around with this and shooting it. Or maybe, I don't know, it's too rusty. I feel like this, this wouldn't even work anymore. Some newspaper here. And look, it's, an, it's showing Hitler. I mean, this newspaper was from 1938. Wow. Literally the time they made this, Hitler was still alive. They were just talking about him. That's it. We checked out all the big rooms here. Oh, almost forgot to show you the ceiling. Damn. They definitely put a lot of work in this one room than the rest of the building. I think that's it. Ooh, it's been a long day, guys. Been here for maybe two or three hours. I think my friends are done as well we might be heading out by the way here's like the main entrance i think but look at this the boar's head bro oh, no, it's creepy, this is the it? second one we've seen on this trip yeah, it's hard one up all right you guys done too no just... they have basement yeah same here mm -hmm. yeah man. and then we just head out yeah man. bro yeah. Yeah. so hungry starving <laughs> curry I need time. water too curry yeah. time yes curry time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> photos here so what do you guys think could have happened? Did you find out anything else about the family? I'm not sure, but I, th this, I think this place has been in the family since yeah. since 1800s, easy mate. Yeah, yeah just passed down. Yeah, because we found these glass slides. Yeah. Um, and you pull them out and you put them to the light, and it's they're outside this building. And right. They've got to be mid 1800s. So they haven't uh, they even had pictures of um, like horse and cart, like battalion, like French Revolution and stuff yeah, like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's so strange. I never even knew there was photos like that. Yeah. They were just made of glass. That's the first know. thing, first time I've ever seen. What camera yeah. could even take a photo like that? If you happen to know, leave a comment down below, guys. Let's go check it out really quick, and then we're gonna be heading out of here. Oh gosh, back here. I think these were the slides they were talking about, and yeah, I can definitely see the photos now. I wonder if I can show you. Yeah, I can see like a man and his dog, or dogs. He had a lot of them. This is my first time seeing things like this. Yeah, it's just a guy and his dogs again, too. Oh, this one's easy to see. Just a picture of a horse. Looks like this could have been a photo from outside the mansion. Looks like farmers. Yeah, that's neat. Gotta go down to the basement floor. This is also the way out. What? Finally, we found the kitchen. I was wondering where it is. I mean, they probably had their own personal chefs and they would bring the food up to them. Empty. Empty butt smells. <laughs> Someone took a poo? Yeah. Recently or what? Uh, I don't know, like maybe a few years. <laughs> oh, gosh. Smells. oh god. Oh god. There's a pretty soft wine cellar down there. So it's worth going down there? I mean, if it smells? Yeah, it's just the poo is in the end room. You okay. really see it. Like all the f there's preserved food in the end room as well. Okay, Just okay. don't open any doors and you'll be fine. Watch out for the bats <laughs> as well. <laughs> all right. The wine cellar is really cool, man. Okay. All right. I hope I don't encounter any poo. Where's the wine cellar? Oh, it's not there. Is it here? Nope. 
not seeing any poo, but found some jars of food. Okay, it must be over here. Looks like I'm getting closer to it. Yep. Jackpot, guys. Found the wine cellar. This is sick. There's barrels and crates as well. Wow. No way. They stocked so many. You can probably stock like a thousand wine bottles down here. This is the best wine cellar I've seen ever inside an abandoned mansion. Holy crap. A lot of them are unopened. Wow. This is incredible. It's only gonna get more rare and up in value the longer it stays. So some of these wine balls could be worth a lot of money. Let's take a look at one that's unopened. Maybe this one right here? No. Oh, this one's empty. Empty. This one still has wine in it. Look at that. 1969. Let's get another one. Hmm. Maybe this one. That's empty as well. Contrio. Come on, let's find another good one. Oh, look how moldy that one is. Gosh. Nasty. Definitely have to wash my hands after this. That one's empty too. It's weird how some of them are empty. Maybe some have leaked and evaporated over time. We have to find one that's really close. This one, yeah, there's some in here. Filled to the brim. Ron Satir. There's all kinds of wine, different brands. Wild horses. Yo, don't walk behind it, Carl. So we're just exploring an abandoned mansion. And look at this, wild horses. Just right outside of it. Crazy, man. Unbelievable. So the, the horses start walking here. And look, we still haven't even gone to the botanical garden. Almost like it was leading us here. I feel really bad for them. No one's taking care of them. There's flies in their eyes. It could have some infection. Probably brother and sister. Or related. Yeah, that was magical. Can't even get to the garden. So we're growing with thorns. It looks quite small. So I guess there's not much to see in there. This is the first time ever where that happened to me. Just turn around, there's just two horses looking at me, wondering what's going on. Guys, thank you so much to making it to the very end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. I know I did. One of the best explorations so far on this trip and we still have a couple more days to go hitting bang spots like this. I really hope you guys have been enjoying the French series with the gang. Definitely check them out. Dark Arts TV, Sam and Jess Explores. This place was absolutely incredible. I just love the architecture. I love how there's so many things inside. It seems like the history 
of the family that used to live here was pretty damn interesting too. And to top it all off, it ends with horses. Come on now. What can beat that? I don't even think any explorer has ever had that in their video. Okay guys, yeah, thank you so much. Definitely leave your comments and thoughts down below. If you did enjoy the contest, subscribe and hit the notification button bell. And also, shop freedomxwarner.com. I've restocked on the hoodies and they're selling lot hot cakes, so go and get them before they're sold out. But all right guys, stay tuned. I'll see you all in the next adventure. Peace and thanks for watching. Like, whoever is doing like a France trip like us right now, filming like abandoned chateaus for some reason, they can definitely not top this video. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs>